From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 News at 10 starts right now. You should not be sentenced to death over a traffic stop. Well, first tonight, a weekend of community action following the police shooting death of Patrick Leoya. He was killed during a traffic stop in Grand Rapids Monday morning after what police describe as a struggle. And as officials continue to investigate, today a community conversation was held at a local church with family members, neighbors, and both West Michigan and national leaders demanding the release of the body camera footage taken that day. The conversation comes after a march and candlelight vigil were held for the 26-year-old father of two on Saturday. Fox 17's Marisa Oberly starts our team coverage. She joins us live in the newsroom with a recap of this afternoon's community conversation, as well as what pushed people to attend. Marisa? Yeah, Jamie, uh, people from all over Grand Rapids say they see themselves in Patrick's story. They hope by openly discussing what happened nearly a week ago that it leads to due process in his case and change within Grand Rapids. At Renaissance Church of God in Christ in Grand Rapids. I want the world to know. I want the world to know. Chance echoed alongside cries for transparency and accountability. We want all surveillance technology video released immediately. Immediately. The ears and eyes in the crowd fixated on the local and national leaders up front as they discussed what so many people thought about this past week. But when it's happened in your community, it's like a, a, an earthquake. On Sunday, Renaissance Church of God held a community conversation about Patrick Leoya, the 26-year-old Congolese immigrant shot and killed by a Grand Rapids police officer last Monday. I have six children. I can I cannot believe that, you know, Patrick, I knew him personally. He's just a young kid. Patient Baraka says he welcomed Patrick's family when they first moved to the U.S. When we came over here, we came with a trauma. And then now, this kind of event are re traumatizing us. Rayanne Booker showed up to represent her husband and other loved ones, but also anyone who she says may be treated unfairly. The family sat there and before us, that could be any one of our families. And I think especially for people whose skin color may be different from mine, they might be thinking, why should I be have been at that forum? Oh, that's their issue. This could be your family, too. Speakers at the event stressed that, too, and asked for change, which roots out officers who cause fear among the people they police, saying it benefits not only Patrick's case, but those who live in Grand Rapids. We need everyone to show up with sincerity, love, commitment. Now, despite a request from the Kent County prosecutor to hold it, the Grand Rapids Police Chief, Chief Eric Winstrom, does intend to release video of Patrick shooting no later than this coming Friday at noon. We, of course, will show you that video when we do obtain it. But for now, reporting live in the newsroom, Marisa O'Reilly, Fox 17 News. All right. Thank you, Marisa. Well, nationally known civil rights attorney Ben Crump was part of today's discussion and is now representing the family. Our team coverage continues now with Lauren Edwards, who has more on what he's saying about the case. Transparency, transparency, transparency. It was the word I heard used a number of times at Renaissance Church behind me. Ben Crump, the civil rights attorney, saying that word too, saying that's exactly what is needed in order for Patrick Lioya to get justice. Justice for Patrick. She's peace now. Justice for Patrick. She's peace now. National Justice civil rights attorney Ben Crump only wants one thing at this time. Justice for Patrick. She's peace now. The family has retained our law firm to help them get justice, and that first starts with truth, transparency, and that's how we get to justice. Crump, who has represented many families, including those of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and Jacob Blake, spoke before a packed crowd of community members, clergy, city officials, and Mayor Bliss. It's absolutely heartbreaking, and no family should have to feel the pain 
and the suffering that you are feeling right now. Patrick Luyoya's family also in attendance at Renaissance Church Family Life Center on Sunday evening. Womack says he sent emails and made phone calls and used his connections to get Crump's attention. By bringing Ben Crump, it shows we have another avenue besides violence to find a conclusion of this. Womack, Crump, and the family are demanding that the dash cam and body cam video be released of the deadly officer-involved shooting. As the young people say in the chant, say no more, just show the video. Police say Monday morning, April 4, 26-year-old Patrick Leoya was pulled over for a traffic stop near the intersection of Nelson and Griggs. When he got out of the vehicle, they say he attempted to run away. A lengthy struggle ensued, then he was shot and killed. The family, including their Congolese interpreter, Israel Siku, says it happened differently. I saw the video. I could not sleep. The word I can use was execution style. The boy was on the floor, the cop has his knees on him, pull up the gun and shoot him in the head and back up. Chief Eric Winstrom told Fox 17 that he plans to release the video no later than Friday, April 15th. Womack, Crump, and the family says they'll be waiting. We have to have that video released, no matter how painful it is, because there's a mistrust in the community. And the only way you can deal with that bridge of mistrust is to have transparency. So again, the goal is to release the video so that the world can see exactly what happened to Patrick Leoya on that fateful day. And he's asking that once it is released, that people handle themselves peacefully. Reporting here in Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. The name of the officer involved has not been released. Michigan State Police is handling the investigation. Well, a lot of questions still being asked in this case. We will continue to follow the investigation into the deadly shooting of Patrick and bring you updates on when the body camera video is released.